Hi there, welcome back. Today we are at Value Village and we are gonna go inside and see if we can find any vintage items to keep for myself or resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. So let's go on in and check it out. I just spotted some vintage chalkware fruit, $4.99. A few little chips on there. Not overly bad. They could be touched up with a little bit of paint, but I'm going to pass. I totally forgot to pick up a cart. All right, I went and grabbed a cart. Judy Miller. Very large. I believe that's Talavera. Extremely large. It's a nice piece of art glass. Four ninety nine. Got a cloudy bottom. Really nice condition. It's a really nice piece of glass. For five dollars, I'm sure I can make some profit from this piece. It's made in China, four ninety nine. look like little hobbyist pieces. I'm not sure what are those for. Oysters, maybe? I do not know. There's that chip on it. That is made in Taiwan. Here is a really nice print of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. I love the colors in this print. I have collected quite a few religious pieces, wall decor, and I might be doing a gallery wall with them, so I may pick this up for the gallery wall. It's definitely got some age. This is a really nice piece of pottery. Just looking for a signature. The inside has a crystalline glaze, $3.99. I'm gonna leave that one today. And here is a circle of friends. I believe these pieces are made in Mexico, possibly, but this one has a chip on it. This piece was made in China, so it is a more modern piece. I always check the color glass to see if it is anything special. And like most resellers, always on the lookout for Glossy Babies or Costa Boda candle holders. I believe those were recycled glass, possibly made in Mexico. Lots of party light pieces. Party light is vintage. I remember buying party light well over 20 years ago so it would be considered vintage but just not something that I pick up. I'm not seeing too much here in the candle holders so I'm going to move along. Just 
see if there's any vases or pieces of pottery. Devonshire's Violets. I'm not familiar with that. Have a nice quality feel to it. This is a piece of Talavera, I believe. Cute little cat trinket dish. That is a souvenir piece from Cuba. is a Temptations dish. Is that for eggs? I'm not sure what that's for. Not something that I pick up though. Temptations is not in my wheelhouse. That is a hobbyist piece. I love the color of that teapot, but it is modern. This Oneida custom stainless steel pitcher. Six dollars. There is quite a lot of scratches and wear on it though. If it was in better condition, I might pick that up. It's modern. Lots of chips on that piece. That is a hobbyist piece, I believe, or art class. really light. It's not feel very, very good quality. Let's see if there's any vintage glassware in here that we have to have. Lots of clear glass. really seeing anything that I gotta have though.
little Mickey Mouse dishes. These are modern. This looks like a flow blue piece. It's a pretty little sugar bowl. But unfortunately, there is a chip on the handle. And this, I believe, is Franciscan Desert Rose. But there is just the creamer, no sugar bowl. I don't know, maybe I should pick up just the creamer. These are interesting. They have a hand-painted design on them. They are an anchor hawking mug and they have the older mark from before the 1980s. So I don't know if these were hand-painted in the 1980s or recently. Someone just recycled some anchor hawking mugs. don't need any more mugs but when I don't find much of anything else then I have a tendency to go have a look through the mugs just to see if maybe there is something that I cannot live without. This one looks interesting. It is modern. is a super cute Otagiri Scotty mug for $1.99. I'll grab that. I'm gonna have a look through the purses and see if I can find any vintage purses. Possibly a carpet bag or a nice leather bag, maybe tooled leather. be really great if I could find a Whiting and Davis purse. I have never found one in a thrift store. I have purchased them through auctions and in an antique shop, but never in a thrift store. And here is a tool leather wallet. Looks like it's in really nice condition and it's only $2.99 so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to see if there's any Lucite or Bakelite bangles in here. This is a nice wood bangle with some inlay but it's quite light so I think I'll leave that one behind. These ones kind of look like Lucite, but I can just tell by the feel that they are not. All right, I think I am going to check out. I have found all I can find in Value Village today. I'm finding more often than not, it's getting harder to find really good vintage items in the thrift stores, but I managed to find a few things. So if you'd like to see the haul, be sure to stay tuned because that is coming up in just a few seconds. All right, I have everything on the table. And like I said earlier, it is getting harder and harder to find really good vintage items in the thrift stores. These days I'm finding, is anyone else finding that? It could be because it is winter and maybe people aren't cleaning out their garages and their basements and getting rid of stuff. Maybe in the spring there'll be more on the shelves, but I found a couple things. I found this vintage Otagiri mug with the Scotty dogs on it. It was $1.99. And I found this tooled leather wallet. It's in really nice condition. It was $2.99. And my heat just kicked in, so if you're hearing some noise, that is my heater. It is quite chilly here. And you saw me pick up a religious print. 
of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And I decided to leave that piece behind, but I did go back and look at the shelves again, and this was on the shelves. So I grabbed it, and it is, I believe that is Mary, the Madonna, praying. And I'm not sure if this is pewter or silver plated, but it is made in West Germany. It's a really nice piece, and I will probably keep this for my art gallery wall. I've collected quite a few nice pieces of wall decor, religious pieces, and I plan on doing a wall art gallery. I think I'm going to do it going down my staircase. So when I do decide to do that, when I have time, I will show you the process. So I found these mugs and I was kind of a little bit stumped because the they are hand decorated, hand painted, and there is a signature on them. But the mug is an Anchor Hawking mug made in USA. And it has the older stamp, the older Anchor Hawking stamp from before 1980. I believe it's like 1950s or 60s up to the 1980s they used this particular stamp. So the mug is vintage, but I am not sure if someone just, you know, found some mugs and painted a little design on them. I did find a Etsy shop that hand decorates mugs exactly like this. It doesn't say that they are Anchor Hawking mugs, but the mugs look exactly like this. And so if these are her creations, and I definitely would not resell them in my Etsy shop. But I think I might reach out to her and see if she did create these very unique, fun mugs. I really like the design on them. Really fun. So those were $1.99 each. And you saw me pick up a piece of art glass. And when I was at the register, I decided to put that piece back because it just did not have a very nice quality feel to it. It was really light, it had a cloudy bottom, it was a little too shiny for my liking, so I left it behind. So that was everything that I picked up from Value Village, and I think my total in there was around $13, something like that. So then I went to Mission Thrift Store because I had a subscriber reach out to me and she was interested in a couple of Wedgwood pieces that were shown in my one of my previous videos. So I went there to pick them up for her and of course I'm going to look around while I'm in the thrift store. I'm not just going to run in and grab something. If I'm in there, I'm going to look around and see if there's anything that I'm interested in purchasing. And I found this really nice wood shelf. Let's see if I can pick it up here. It is hand carved, made in India. It was $10. And this piece moves over and this goes down. So it is foldable. So I grabbed this and it is listed in my Etsy shop. It's really fun, It'd be great for putting a little plant on or something decorative. Very boho. And I found this piece of art glass, a red Christmas tree, and it was $2. So I will probably list this in my shop, maybe closer to Christmas. Although I still have quite a few Christmas items still listed in my shop so I may just list it right away. Christmas does sell all year round. And that was everything that I found in Mission Thrift Store and the two pieces of Wedgwood I picked up and those are already being shipped off to my lovely subscriber. And so my total in there I think was around $17 including the Wedgwood. And then I ran over to the Salvation Army and grabbed a couple things there. I found some vintage towels. And these are Caldwell towels. They're really nice and thick. 
towels, and they were $3.99 each. And I have these two listed in my Etsy shop. So pretty pastel colors. These look like probably the 1980s or maybe 90s. And then these two were $3.99 each as well. And I'm going to keep these for my own towel collection. I will probably bring these out to our country home. I think these colors would look really nice in the bathroom out there. Kind of have similar color tones in our bathroom in the country home. So I will keep those for, for there. And then this really pretty little piece of wall decor made of little tiny shells. And I come across these quite often, but usually there is always a couple shells that are broken. And this piece has absolutely no broken pieces that I can see. It is 100% intact. So that is rare to find. This is definitely an older piece. And it is listed in my Etsy shop. And I think my Salvation Army total was around $15 or $16, something like that. So that's everything that I got. Not a whole lot. That's from three different thrift stores. But like I said earlier in one of my past videos, I'd rather, you know, find quality pieces and have less of them than have a whole bunch of items that are not going to sell in my shop and that I may have to be stuck with. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. Give me a comment, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.